All right, we're back. We're back here with a matchup between Arceus and Kurskar. Bye, Suzanne. Bye, Suzanne. Yeah, See ya. All right, let's cut to the match. Okay, okay, so we got an Arceus match, which is an interesting deck, to say the very least. It plays. It covers all types, pretty much. It covers much. all types. There are multiple copies of Arceus's. Um, unfortunately, Regigigas is not in this format. At least a good Regigigas. So there's no Regigigas in the 2010 format. Um, then we got Franco playing Kurskar, which is... Kurskar, also known as... I think it was also known as Mother Gengar in its world's deck. that it, Because I think it, this was printed as a world's deck. Kurskar is what I think it is. I'm not... Are, are we ready? Or are we good? Or? Yeah, we're... Well, yeah, we're streaming. Yeah, go ahead. We're, we're commentating. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. All right, yeah, we're good. All right, yeah. If Dane does, it does. <laughs> All right, what the hell is this group? Okay. Uh, Franco reading the cards. Yeah. yeah. This is this is the start. This is the start I totally expected from my numbers with any time you play against Arceus deck. So I called that one a tongue charm. Yes, it is. There is a Lux. Uh, no, Lux charm. Sorry. There is a Gyarados. If you go back. <laughs> On either YouTube next week or when this Twitch stream gets uh, archived in our games, there is a Gyarados archive. Sir. archive. Uh, there is a Gyarados matchup in it against uh, Jump Pluff. With it, Jordan was playing the Pluff, and Jeremy start um, was playing uh, Gyarados. This deck also plays Dustnar. Yeah. Dustnar level X, most underrated level X, uh, in, in my opinion becomes a stadium. <laughs> yes, a Pokemon becomes a stadium. This card does draw three, put one at the bottom. Um, Dan is currently not by the computer to bring up uh, the little pictures. Um, it's nice. That's my, my favorite card in the deck. All, all these the the one thing I'll give about uh, about these these retro decks here is the commitment to the e-reader cards. Yeah, <laughs> all the basic energies are e-readers. All the rainbows are e-readers. Anything that can be an e-reader is an e-reader. Roseanne's, we we if you've been following the stream, you know what the, this does. You get some ghastly that. Oh, you get a ghastly and a ball toy. You can also get a basic energy if you want. He's not done searching though. And he's using a darkness grace, which allows you to evolve, which allows you to evolve a Pokemon and put a damage counter on a spirit. Really two. good in the stage two deck, stage yes. one, stage two decks. It's, a, it's guaranteed Claydol, pretty much. Um, and it also has trainer lock. Yeah, in tra yeah. So yeah. it's it's kind of like it's kind of like. Got the towel with a good attack. <laughs> yes. Even even that's a reference now because I got the towel like what 2013 format. 2013, yeah. 2013, 2014. And format. 20 and 2012 it was played yeah. too. <coughs> but that was before Dark Rye and all that stuff because yeah. it it di it, it died off you, after you, like you, cities. Yeah, you couldn't you couldn't do anything. Like the Especially when the format got so <laughs> Especially fast. Especially you got a Dark Rye, you're like okay, I'm you're hitting for resistance and you're just it's just too fast. Yeah. You, you now I believe <laughs> this, great. I, now a lot of these RCs I'm gonna be one hundred with you audience. Uh, I don't even know what they do. Uh, I'm, gonna read <laughs> um, I'm Franco. Read them. Uh, thankfully we have the pictures here. The dark one is arguably the best one. I, I do know that one's probably the best one. I think can do a good amount of damage. Um. Call it the Kalos gets you energy. 
I think the there's a, so much type ability in the deck that yeah, I, it has made it a fun deck, and it I think it plays all types, yeah. so it can counter the weaknesses and whatever. I think anyway, there's a there's a Arceus for every type. Is this energy? Well, I mean, in the video game, there's an Arceus for every type for sure, but in, yeah, in there's this, the they're soul. represented yeah. by all the types. Energy. Um, and so there's multiple Arceus level Xs. There's a stadium that allows you to. Uh, it's called I think it's called Ultimate Zone. Yeah. Um, and he's just in his hand. Um, it's kind of bad. Uh, where you can move your energy around uh, your Arceus. For RC, yes, uh, RCI, plural for RCs. He's swelling up. He's getting swole. This is this is some wild stuff. This is like the ultimate energy acceleration here. Um, a free attack just because you have. You saw a large amount of energy acceleration for a free attack. Really? You got you got six really energies good. that just hit the field for free off an attack. That's a very strong start by Jeremy. Um, but Gengar Gengar could do some could do some work. Um, his deck plays if I if I remember right multiple Gengars. I believe this plays both. Curse Gar, obviously, and uh, and, uh, the, and the Poltergeist Gengar as well. There were two Gengars. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't remember this list. Um, the Gengar, yeah, yeah. the main Gar, is is the Curse Gar. <laughs> but no, the other Gengar I think you're talking about is the uh, Gengar Prime. No, uh, the Poltergeist Gengar. Just in his, if you look at this in his hand. So oh yeah, there Gengars were. There, oh 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 yeah, there were two Gengars, weren't yeah, there? Yeah. So you that one was there. Another Gengar in the list? Yeah, the Curse Gar. Oh, the it, curse, that one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't it from the? Oh, okay. Gengar is an iconic Pokemon. Um, arguably, probably, I, I, they're more, I mean, not as much as it used to be, uh, but most Gengars I remember when I first started playing were pretty good. Uh, I played a lot of, uh, Viogar in, uh, 2012, or 2011. I'm good, thank you. I've never seen an RCS deck be Thank you, played, Jim. but um, the board position on, on on this is looking very strong. I am. This has got to be the optimal start for an RCS deck to get out all your RCSs to cover all your weaknesses. Uh, oh, um, what what is that? That's a haunter. Oh, haunter, yeah. yeah. Franco can get out a Gengar this turn if he so chooses. He could also get a. I think the Lion and the Duskborn might be 101 here. I don't know. There's a stadium I referred to earlier. Ultra Zone. It's freely moving energies around. <laughs> This is, this is rare when its own Pokemon 
gets its own. It's just this is just for Arceus. Um, and you can just move energies around, and it just blew up a clay doll. That's turn two. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's Nick. What's up? Stop. Stop, Nick. Those energies have been lost. Up. So, Franco is in a rough spot now. I, I can't really see his full hand. All right, yeah, right. But he lost Our his draw. Got he, such he, a powerful he, set. That was a strong, mm -hmm. yeah. It's over 9,000 in, in the power levels here. Oh, uh, you and your silly, silly references. All right, I guess we'll see his drawing. Yeah, he's got to hunt for something here. So he needs a Gengar at minimum. Get It'd be some, get nice going. if he could return the energy with an NFT. If he could bring out a broken time space, he'd probably. I mean, I don't think he has access to it. Otherwise, he would have dropped it. I would imagine. But uh, that would be probably the best thing he could. Right, he's in a darker space, but he's yep. going to get a Gengar out. A Gengar. Which Gengar? Oh no. Went for a Haunter. Yeah, it's it's safe to just get him get him leveled yeah. up, you know. Yeah, so he's got. So you can just lay the Gengars. He's got either like one. Play. Um. You know, if if one gets taken out, it's uh, it's there for sure. Now another thing that I I would want to mention is uh, with this poker body that Spirit Team has, Gengar. The, there's two Gengars. There's a Gengar that is Poltergeist, which is the pretty much. The same attack that uh, the current standard uh, Gengar Nuki tag team has, but it becomes got lesser power and it costs a psychic and a colorless. That will do the same thing. And with uh, Spirit Tomb in play, uh, traders are gonna bill in uh, Jeremy's hand unless he could get away out of it, whether it be Judge or a discard effect. Arceus has more than just one card for itself. I think he's in, in Jeremy's hand. There's a card called the Yeti Dweller, which is also a card that's exclusive to Arceus. Dark colorless to the Arceus. Dark. If we don't see ourselves on the screen, we're not being you, Judge. Right. Okay. Another. Energy acceleration, but this time for one single psychic energy. This is a ripple swallow flash is active. I would like to see him start hitting that dark, because that dark Arceus is going to be in the shreds. Well, he is going to have probably, he, he's already got more prizes, he's got less prizes, so that can't do the extra uh, yeah. plus 60. But Franco is not in a, as bad of a spot as that I originally thought he would be. He's got he's got a judge in his hand though. Extra belt. Um, ultimate zone. Sorry, ultimate zone is the name. Right? There's ultimate zone and uh, Great Barrier Door. Either of this. So it gets both. One of each Gengar into play. Oh yeah, that would help. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Now we have a list. A list of. The point. Yes. Yeah. Um. Arceus level X is about to hit the field. I believe. Ultimate zone. He's gonna probably. I don't know what he's gonna take out here. If he uses it, he's gonna take out the field. I mean, we're we're it's all good. We're currently fiddling around with the setup for us, so we could see. Can um, I knock out the dust knock out. Knock out the dust goal. Now the choice. one thing that I, yeah, 
the one thing this could come down to be uh, detrimental is he's he's put two doubles very early into this game. Yeah. Into the loss zone. Um, okay. Play the judge. Judge yourself. All those trainers are now going there. And all that stuff is still moving. They don't see that. They can just keep watching the one thing. We don't need to do anything. Figured. We just need to make sure we're doing it. Let's go to judge. Yep, that's not bad. Uh, I couldn't. I mean, the dusk mar is now pretty much useless. I just gotta call energy and do something. Uh, I'll move half of them here to here. Curse, don't need to kill them. Yeah, yeah with curse, is that's what he just used, by the way. Curse allows you to move one energy. Um, or one not energy, I'm sorry. One damage counter from one of your opponent's Pokemon to another. And then um, I will Shadow Skip just to move my Shadow Skip out of the box here. And he, so Shadow Skip allows you to move. Um, allows you to move back to the bench. So this Spirit Tomb is still going to be active. He's still trainer locked, but that can't be too rough. He's got his two removal doubles in there. Still a very strong start for the Narcissus deck, taking two prizes very early against two strong. Uh, oh, Gengar flips, you're going to get annoying. Yeah. One thing I hated about it, I had to beat those flips. That is also friends though, is the fact that that Gengar is feigning spell, so you can fear and use all your resources on one thing to knock out the, the Gengar with feigning spell that could come back to haunt you. Yeah, I think you could. It's a rough spot. For another stone kill. I feel he's just I feel he's just burning all his energy. That's true. I think so too. He, he only got to accelerate the one last time, and immediately not immediately, but you ended up in the loss zone right away. Five here. Yep. Oh, this guy's gonna take it. He's gonna take out the spear tomb. Blow up three prizes, but he has three BCE in the loss zone, and uh, a lot of these Arceus need uh, the doubles. So and he has the other one in his hand. So next turn, Arceus is every creature type. He could do the same thing to this Uxi or the Nidoran on the bench. Um, and get another knockout, but then he'd be out of DC, so he'd be relying solely on the basic energy that are in his deck. And at that point, Franco might be able to start up <laughs> showing what Gengar can actually do. Oh, you can counter the stadium now. Okay, that's that's good. With the Moonlight Stadium. Um, just saw in the last game that allows for and retreat dark for Psychic and Dark Pokemon. So Franco's entire deck is now Pretty, uh, got free retreat, even though a lot of his stuff already had it. I can knock out with a spirit tomb. Um, I'm gonna retreat. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not gonna kill. Yeah, because I don't knock out with the spirit tomb, so I wouldn't know. Um, I 
that duskal back well, that in the dusk day. Nor, that dusk nor of legs could be big in this matchup with another Alton. So let's see what we can do. Does it play the Star of Lux? I think so. And I thought these Arceus, see this, we look at these, Ar Arceus is supposed to be like the god of Pokemon, and he has 70 HP as a basic. Reminds me of Dante. That'd be nothing now. It's an older but better version of Dante. The common thing with this curse relic is you just attack with the curse card, burn back, go back in spirit tomb, and do the trainer lock, yep. And then she can just come in and start beat sticking. Forget. Pre order your Vulture. Darkness Ablaze Sword and Shield. A set spicy. Today. That set, set is, is really spicy. And there's Charizard, and we all know about Charizard. <laughs> we do accept bulk for those, by the way, for those boxes. Um, information is all um, on a website. 2,500 comes on commons. Get you box. Give us all your bulk. Jeremy's hand looks a little better. He did post judgment a lightning turn here. He take another knockout. He's going up two to two to five in terms of prizes. Um, a lot of those resources were really burned out. Yeah. So that is his last up attached to. That Arceus guy. I'd like to see him promote the second Arceus because it's for true. Yep. Good idea. You know, also the, the dark one, too. Because um, it's resistant. I don't think any of these have resistance. They're all weak to whatever they're weak to, and none of them have. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, maybe. I could be totally wrong. I think that's yeah, what we're I, I, the light, the electric ones right in front of us is. Yeah, the, the dark one has to be resistant to sight. No, no resistance. No resistance on, on the And confuzzledness. You can get confused. I, can't, I couldn't see it. The most annoying of special conditions, in my mind. Not paralysis, it's confuzzled. Gotta collect your threat spirit to get that back out so you can keep your trainer lock going. Andy got the dusk off as well. Dustor could come into play here. It can take his en start taking energy out of play and just. Yep. Play with curse and curse it over. Could see Franco making a comeback here. Yeah, I see a triumphant comeback coming. Um, you know, as I said before, very strong start by. The Arceus deck. Same seat just so uh, spirit tomb, there it is. Pretty much the perfect start, I'd imagine. I never played Arceus, but Dusk all. Yep. Dusk all you'd want down. the field to have all your Arceus and not many not many decks, even in I don't think there's a deck in today's day and age that you could just energy accelerate six energies on the field for free with an attack on turn on your first turn of the game. Even turn one, Knocks you can do that turn one if you have if you have it. I mean it's much harder to do turn one. But Franco, as you can see, is coming in with with uh, with the haymakers, not to be confused with haymakers. There's the Arceus Alex finally. Allows you to use its previous level any Arceus to play attack. And it's the same type as the previous level too. Yeah, and it's got 50 more HP. Which is a kind of a big deal in in this case because Kurskar is only doing 60, 70, or no, he could do 70, I guess, with a little bit more power, theoretically speaking. Um, you're not two shotting this Arceus, or at least that Arceus, instead of one shot. There's 
Yeah, let's hit the witch. You guys go up. Yeah, it doesn't have the energy. Yeah, let's go up. That's let's see. not good. Yeah, he, he went through. It doesn't have the... All of it. Pretty quickly it's already already. anymore. Got all Frank has got all the resources he'll need for the rest of his journey. Let's see. It does not play the server well. It's, it's my bot. I think it's the one. I think it's a one one one. I think it's a one zero one nine or one one one. By the way, the Dusk Nord does have the ability to start. Oh, it's not a factor anymore because 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 he only has three bench. He has to have four or more. Get attacked with it. <laughs> if the need arises. I've attacked with it. Not bad. Dash to dust skull. Yeah, so that's what that's what makes Gengar in these decks can be really annoying is because it, it just switches out. Jerry wants to kill that Gengar so bad. And you can't it's so annoying. Yeah, he, he doesn't have I the ability to snipe Gengar. anymore either. I think he. I uh, I I've, I never played Gengar once in any tournament. I never played since. I never played Gengar. Look at David. That used to not well, used to only play Gengar. Look at a local player that only played Gengar decks. Many different variants of Gengar, but only Gengar. I just hated Gengar. I never played it. Level down. You might see. Oh my God. The level down. This is bringing me flashbacks to a regional. Yeah. Where I actually played Franco and he leveled down to my oh, Dialga for game. Another knockout. Yep. Let's see if Jeremy can get an energy here. Ooh, another draw supported. Oh my god, he's got the fat hand, but nothing to throw. Ah, uh, trainers. You gotta find he can't even play trainers, so there's unless he has the Roseas, he can't even get an energy. I don't think he has any I don't think he has any of rainbow left. I don't think he has any basics left. No rainbows, that's it. Cool. Conserve your that shows that sometimes risking it for the biscuit may not always end up well, even when you get the, the perfect start. Now, I've never played Arceus, as I've said before. And I, I have no idea even roughly how to enter the scoop phase. Yeah, and, Jer and Jeremy's just going to scoop it up. He realizes the rain is on the wall. Yeah, he had a very strong start, but, but, but if you look at Franco's field, there is just no way... It, he, he over said he had a fast start, but he's good. He, he, he couldn't burned everything it. real too quick. Yeah, um, <laughs> should have yeah. probably started taking right. out some. Back to us. Taking right. out. Well, some, that was exciting. Uh, I've, I haven't seen Arceus in a long time, yeah. so that was really cool to see. All right, we'll be back, guys, for one la one final round.